Hey, how's it going? And welcome along. I'm Rory from Rammer Time, and welcome to episode 9 of Satisfactory uh, 1.0 playthrough. And uh, yeah, I've, I've had a, a small break away, just a short one, um, but I'm now back into the game again. And even though I've had a little break, I've still been sort of tweaking here and there. I've played around with this a little, and I'm still not 100% sure how it's going to kind of all come together. But I think it's, it's, it's the outline of the base, and I need to br bring it out a bit more. It's going to have multiple floors. It's going to have some tall buildings, but this is going to be where kind of the space elevator is, and where the uh, the main storage is. There's going to be a train station, all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff over here. Now I've built these kind of columns that come down the side of the waterfall, but I don't like them, so I'm going to kind of come up with a different design for those. I'm just not quite sure what yet. It's kind of there, but no, there's there's something about this area. It, it's all a bit meh. Even with um, some flourishes around it, it's just not enough. The, the waterfall looks great. I'm well happy with that. I think that looks fantastic. The way that goes through there. We're going to have two floors. We're going to have stuff behind it. Uh, it's all going to be cool lighting and much nicer looking walls and edges. And, you know, once we've got tractors moving around and everything, that's going to look really cool in there. And I think we're going to stick the space elevator just up on this platform, just up here. So I'll tell you what, let's get that done. Um, but obviously first, got to do the logo. Well, now that the important thing is done and out of the way, let's uh, let's get this going. So let's place that down there. Where are we going to put you? I think I've put you... Nah. Well, base elevator is one of the hardest things to line up. Um, there we go. I think I've actually got it pretty much central. Nope, I'm miles off. It needs to be there. Okay, so something like that. We just want to check what it's like around the back. Okay, so yeah, we can come a bit further back. And that's as far as it's right. Okay, well, let's go and have a look see what that's like around the front now. Because I did want a small road just in front of it. So I think, I think we're close. But I'm going to cancel it. Start it there. I'm just going to check around the back. So I want it right up against here. Yeah, now that looks pretty good. I think I've actually got that spot on. Because, yeah, we've got the cabling and everything. Cabling. The, the the ports are at the back there, nicely out of the way. We've got plenty of space out the front, and it looks really cool. So we're going to build her up. This animation is still like my f most favourite animation in the entire game. I love this. Oh look, there's the whole thing in the sky. Ho ho ho. Excellent. I wanted to get that in place because I wanted to make sure that I build around it and you know that I don't get to the end and go, oh hang on, nothing actually fits. Um, I'm also, yeah, this is only temporary for now, but I'm gonna stick the hub, well I would, but I'm missing, I need iron ore. Oh man. Okay, I now have some iron ore, so I can now place this. Now, I'm only going to put it here temporarily because I'm not still 100% sure where this is actually going to live. But this little spot in here is kind of pretty perfect for it. So, have we got it lined up? So, something like that. And there we go. We have our hub here with a nice view. <laughs> right. So, yeah, so this is the new base. Um, and I've got to figure out where will be the uh, the main room of all stuff. Which I might come down one more level here. Have I got any more levels under here? No, not yet. So I come down another level, and uh, yeah, and then that'll be the main the main stuff. Oh, I just remembered. I want to show you this because I was just messing around again. It's I'm not completely convinced by it. I'm just sort of playing with ideas at the moment. But yeah, this is a concrete factory called lay it love it limited yeah the design's kind of interesting i think i wanted to do something that just wasn't the normal box now it is still boxy but i think the actual layout is pretty groovy right because we've got these these multiple tiers it all works nicely it's putting concrete into the cloud for me got this little uh, viewing area over here and if we go and have a look on the inside, so we have this kind of reception area here where we can see all of the stuff going off into the distance there. 
which all looks really cool. We can come up the back here and this is where all the concrete is stored. This is where, as I say, there's the dimensional depot and you've got this little viewing area to come out here because stuff will be happening over here eventually. There'll be kind of interesting stuff going on here. I want to build out of this hole somehow. And yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, it's, almost, it's almost like a barn conversion, right? Um, again, as, as I always say, I try and design all my factories to be navigatable without jumping, if I can. So you can come up here and you can head this way. And again, you've got kind of an interesting view, but you can also see down there and you can see everything that's going on. We were missing that though, look. Boom, there we go. Some lighting. Again, it's not entirely finished. I added the red lighting down there just because I thought it looked interesting, like as if it's coming out of like molten. <laughs> but kind of interesting for now. So that's Lay It, Love It Limited. And I really need to get something that sort of links the uh, the ground of the new base. Because at the moment, it's such a pain to get up there. <laughs> so yeah, I need a couple more floors and um, yeah, something to start coming out from over here. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna be playing around with today. However, first, I wanted to unlock something and I think I should have enough because I did a bit of a, a run and I went around, I collected a load of uh, Mercer Spheres and also a quite a few, um, what do you call them? These things. Summer Sloops. What am I missing? So I need, uh, oh, have I not got any on me? Right, I need some Summer Sloops and I need those. So let's try that again. Um, and because I, I want to, I, I, obviously I do want to unlock this at some point because that's going to give me my, my funky computer thing. But I want to unlock this because there's something I wanted to try. So let's start the research on that. Production amplifier unlocked. Every single manufacturing and smelting building will be backwards compatible with this new technology. These buildings can now have a summer sloop embedded to increase resource output without requiring more input at the cost of greatly increased power consumption. Flow cycles within flow cycles make explosions into temples and explosions into temples. The spin sphere of woven windows each tiny body contains tinier bodies until line layers fold into curves, which folds into threads which weave the tapestry. A song of light and leaf and flower, a dance of matter clouds and... I think they're trying to explain energy to matter conversion theory, but you do not need to understand it to do your job. I'll just mute them for you so you can continue your mission. I, however, will be taking notes. This is fascinating material. <laughs> now I'm just setting something up quickly here because like I said I just want to kind of do this as a bit of a test because and I will explain all in just a moment uh, now all of this is temporary just because I want to trial this out so I'm going to come into here and I'm going to set this one to create the uh, DNA capsule and then you've got this here output modifier so I'll stick that in there and that gives me times two for every one right this is what I think, anyway, I don't know this for sure. I think that every one it would produce, because of this, it will now produce two, so it will double up my DNA capsule. Then, now I, again, I don't know if this works, because I, if I set the hog protein in here, and I put another one in there, we get double that. And this one, hatcher. I'm just gonna stick a storage container here, and we're gonna connect that like that. Right, so now with this little setup, here's my theory. Right, so this one is doing spitters. Now I've got, if I do spitter, so I've collected 50 of those. So I'm gonna fill that one up. I could I could have probably done this with just the one thing, but whatever. Right, so we'll set that going. Oh, I could have sworn I did put that in there. Okay, so you're making those, and that will sit and tick away and make two for every one it would have made otherwise. Then this guy here is stinger, which is these. And then this one here is Hatcher. Oh, I've only got four of those. <laughs> I thought I had more of those. <laughs> okay. And then this one here is Hog, which we do have quite a lot of. I have to wait for two to go. There we go. And then those are going in there, and that's creating all the alien proteins, which are then going off into there. Ooh, look at that. And that is my understanding of the best way to do that because now I'm going to get a ton more of these 
than I would have done if I'd have just done it by hand originally. And my intention is going to be, I put, I, I don't know whether I will leave it with, uh, with, with the summer sloops in because they're quite rare, and I'm going to want to use them quite specifically. I think, probably elsewhere. I don't know, but I'm going to set up this kind of, this little setup somewhere in here and just have a bin that I can throw all my, all the the remains of animals that I kill. Sounds awful when you say it like that, doesn't it? Actually. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, and it will do this automatically and create these and it will just sync them. That, that'll be quite cool because that, that way I can uh, just keep getting loads and loads of tickets and then hopefully get pretty much everything unlocked that I need, which means I can then start, you know, do my proper build, buildy builds. Ah, doesn't that look cool? It's definitely getting there. <laughs> but yeah, I really need to start building the mini factories. At the moment, like I say, I've only got, I've only got the, the concrete over here. I need to get an iron factory. So I've got iron just there, there's Sam just up there. Um, I don't know where the copper is around here actually. So that is... Oh, it's just up there then. So I've got to get copper which will, will come down here. So and then I think for, for that I'll probably build a, a big factory over there that makes um, wire and um, cables and then just have a couple of trucks that bring them and, and load them up over here. I won't do trains for stuff that's local. The trains will all be the stuff going out getting things from further away. Oh, genuinely, I think this building's going to become quite spectacular once I uh, yeah, get it underway. I just need to fix these columns because, yeah, I didn't do the second one just because I don't like the first one yet. <laughs> and until I like it, yeah. Excellent, excellent. We should have a quick look, actually. I haven't been in here in a little while to see. What am I still waiting on? So it's that, but I need the supercomputers. Yeah, so I've just got a ton of work to do just to get all this. I can do all of this now. I do want that, yeah. Okay, it's just loads of work. That's all good. We'll leave these all ticking over. They're doing their thing. Oh, that's really good. My uh, my factory down there is looking good. Now, here's one for you. Uh, if you are watching this and you do fancy making a comment, there's been a few people that have commented on the videos now. Thank you for so much for joining me. I, I really appreciate you. <laughs> And uh, and it's amazing, honestly. Thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate when uh, people stick a comment in and give me something to say back to them. <laughs> I always ask a question. I'm always happy to answer. But yeah, if you could think of names. So if you think that the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to build little modular factories. They're not modular. Little factories that bring everything together. And then here's going to be sort of the main processing for stuff. So if you could think of funny names for the factories, chuck them in the comments. And I will probably name the factories using those. Uh, especially at the moment because it's only a few people commenting so there's a good chance you'll get your your name of your factory <laughs> in this playthrough which would be kind of cool right anyway so I need to get on with some work in here I'm like I said I'm just gonna leave this ticking over because at the moment yeah we're doing really well with these that's excellent we're gonna have loads of tickets we're gonna have everything we need and that's all gonna be wonderful it's time to start getting this area ready and figure out how I'm gonna do my storage room do I do it high do I do it low I need a design idea Okay, let's do that next. Right, well after all of that, we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, nearly 600 <laughs> of these dudes here. So yeah, that wasn't a bad little plan. So I'm going to chuck all of these into an awesome sink right now. Of course, the problem is I still haven't actually set up proper power down here. So I'm going to have to set up a, a temporary power solution again. Really must get this sorted out. And we'll chuck, no, am I trying to go out the wrong end? Beg your pardon. Right. And we'll chuck that in there. And there we go. And we're hammering through there. That's a lovely job. Yep, we're getting plenty of coupons. Keep that up. Get in there, you lot. Nice. Yep, this would mean I can pretty much unlock what I need to, to start getting this building looking amazing. Anyway, so I thought I'd just show you quickly while that's doing what I've been doing. I did a little bit of work over here just to sort of tidy this area up a little. And I think I've got that looking pretty slick. We've got our space elevator there. Just got a simple bar light there. Uh, it kind of looks pretty nifty. It's a, a good start for sure. And I've been playing around with the layout. Now, I've built this section here because... We'll come back to this in a second. But this is kind of where I'm trying to do the thing where it's not all just a big square. It's kind of interestingly shaped. And you'll come down here and this will be the room with everything in that you collect. So I'm just setting up my bins here and I'm doing some tests, figuring out the best way to do it now. So there's a thing here in that now obviously you've got these uh, screens. You know, you can grab a two meter screen, you can stick it on there and you can say, yep, I want that one to say that it's got 
I don't know, uh, parts. That's got these reinforced iron plates. Boom. There we go. And yeah, you can have that. But I don't know. There's a there's a part of me, because I've been doing this for a long time, bef well before we had signs and so on, there was an original way that I did it in my last playthrough that, I honestly, I couldn't attribute it. I don't know. I saw I Am Kibitz do it. He attributed it to someone else. I've no idea where it came from, but it's such a cool idea. Now, all you do to get this, because basically then the idea is, you know, whatever you put in there, it shows like that. And I just think that looks so much better. It just looks cool. Although, to be fair, admittedly, those ones aren't the best. <laughs> and obviously, this isn't the way you take stuff. Either way, whatever. I like this. So I'm going to do this as well as sticking a, uh, a little label sign, which will probably live something like that and probably say what it is as well. But if you were interested in knowing how you do this, it's quite a clever little technique. So if we remove the floor from below and we stick in a foundation like this and I do that vertically. Let's get rid of this one so we can see what we're doing. Now if I remove this top one, it's very simple. All we do is we stick this down here and place that like that. Then we just attach it. Then you go ahead and get rid of all of these and you put your floor back in. And there you have it. Nice little setup. Now, something I've not tried yet is if that works in a blueprint. I'm assuming it does, but let's go and find out. So I've set up here the, the basic layout in a blueprint. I still need to do some bits here. So but I was leaving a single storage container for, on the top for once I have plenty of um, Mercer spheres, then the, this, the, the design will be, it will all come into this top bin here and then it will split between the top and the bottom, um, meaning that this should always get filled up and then this one is where it will end up, meaning I can come and grab it if I want to. But to be honest, the the, uh, the cloud storage has changed a lot of this anyway. I don't, you don't really need to come and grab stuff like you used to, but, but whatever. Right, so. Um, so let's just do this. So we're going to put in a Mark III between the top and bottom here, like that. And yeah, so now I've set up basically the same same thing. So we'll get rid of that, 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 and that. And then we'll save this blueprint. And let's try. Let's see. So, blueprints. Hmm. So my problem there is it's floating. So we've got to try this again like that there we go right ah but it's oh there and we need to make sure it's in the right spot which is there and then in theory oh no we don't want to do that ah oh, I'm so rubbish <laughs> right just got to make sure it's lined up and boom like that and then in theory do those two and then boom there we go and that's all set up and ready for us okay right it seems to work so yeah the plan here is going to be that this will go all the way down to the end all the way down to the end so we'll have two big long lines of bins which should be more than enough now what I suspect I'm probably going to do and I haven't I haven't fully figured this out yet as part of the design there'll be something like this going on because I'm going to fill in all around them. They're, they're, it's going to look all smart and nice in here. But I'm going to have this extra run coming out. So basically, this will be this will be if, it, if it's completely full. So obviously, if, if, if there's no space left in there and this one is full... Yeah, basically, if it's completely full, it will come out of there and it will join like a single main bus. And that single main bus will be everything just heading all the way to one location, which will be an awesome sink. So therefore, anything that is being made that we don't need, nothing ever gets full and just stops. It all just keeps going off into the awesome sick. However, I am going to build in a cutoff to that, just in case we have any kind of power problems. So I'm going to have one little room that it comes through, and then basically in there, if I disconnect the, the belt, or actually, that's making it far too complicated, I just have the awesome sink on its own power switch. Of course I do. Yes. Because we've got power switches. Ugh. Silly me. Right. Anyway, I'm going to worry about that later. Um, for now, I just want to get the room set up, get all the bins in, get everything ready, and then I'll work out all of the that kind of shenanigans later. Yeah, this should look really smart. Once this is all in, and we've got all lighting everywhere, and all the stuff done, 
Yeah, this will this will look good. Okay, do you want to have a look? Sure, you do. So this is what I've come up with so far. Now again, nothing in here is permanent. I've just temporarily I've put these lights on because I don't know. I kind of thought that looked really cool with the reflections and the way it's lighting up everything down there. I thought this looked really really good. So yeah, we've got all these bins, which is a total of thirty-two items that can be stored now there definitely will be more than that but as the main storage this is where it's all going to be and i think it will look good and fine i should have carried on there actually but, oh my, my ceiling ran out that must have been wider but then we've got this kind of cool water feature going on at the back this i need to expand this out a little bit more but 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 but, but everything's going to come in from the top uh, but from the sides so everything's going to come in from each of the sides but I've built this little section on the edge here, and again, this is just as a trial, probably what I will do. Now what's happening here is that basically out of this storage bin, which is where everything is originally coming into, it splits it. So half of it will go into the bottom bin, uh, ready for collection. The other half will go out to this smart splitter, which is set to anything that comes into here, goes up and across, and then into this bin here. This bin will be a... Uh, a, a, a cloud depot dimension depot so uh, I can access the stuff from anywhere but then this one will be overflow so anything if this is full will go out there and then it will join a main single bus which will get very congested but it doesn't matter it's just to keep things ticking over and th basically this will be repeated all the way down there so that everything can overflow and, and go into a sink and again what I'll do is I'll get rid of all this platform and uh, dress it all in nicely and make it look like it's part of the furniture part of the room and yeah that's I think that's gonna be quite cool yeah so at least we're, we are now getting somewhere this is where everything's gonna come in like I say I'm gonna build specific areas right over the side here it'll always be a long run anything that comes in will always have a long way to go before it reaches its bin but that's fine I one of the problems that I had with the last playthrough was that everything was all being managed in one really small tight area and it made it such hard work that I thought that this would be a sort of much nicer approach. I think that looks like a pretty cool little scene, doesn't it? And I can put these lights nicely and do a, uh, a switch and possibly we'll add some colour. As I said, I'm going to do... I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this yet. It's probably going to be something like this. Um, and then maybe get one of these. Put it in there. Rotate it. I don't know. Like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm just toying at the moment. Um, and then, I don't know. Maybe we go with something like this. I'm not even sure I'll keep these rails. I just thought it, it kind of made sense. Hang on, what am I doing? All right. Um... And then, I don't know, we, we choose a colour. Let's just go with something nice and simple for now. I'll blueprint these as well because I'm... Again, that's, a, that's another thing that back in the day, yeah, you would have done every, all of this manually, each one. So yeah, so it'll be something along those lines. But yeah, I, I do want it so it's all nicely sealed. I think, yeah, that running all the way down would look pretty good. Don't know about the colour yet. I think as well, another point is that when you blueprint... It's certainly never used to it. Didn't keep the setting on the sign, so you would have to still go in and do all of those. I'm not really too worried, but something like that would be quite smart. But there we go. Right? Yeah. Good. Okay. That is good. That is good. We are getting there. We are. We are making progress. I like this. I do like this. This sort of layout, though, where you. It's not all just a straightforward door to get in. Because once this is all sort of made look to look nice with. Uh, walls and columns and stuff you come down here it'll probably expand out a little bit here and then you'll come to here and you can go off to other in other directions or you will come into here to the to the main collection area I'm pleased with that I think that's very cool indeed uh, but yeah I need to think about these as well because I want to try and blueprint this so that I can roll it out easily well it is looking rather spectacular <laughs> I have to admit, this is going to look amazing once this is all up and running. I've managed to put in all of them, so that works now. And everything that gets put in here that is uh, an overflow will come out of this end and also the same over at this end. Because it's all in there. 
I need to uh, extend this out so there's still still plenty of work in here to do and I also need to um, finish off this design that goes across them all. So there's all of that. So but yeah, we're there, we're there. Now one other thing that I have just been doing was I started playing around up there. Now, the reason, the reason is, is because I want to get some iron being made here so that I can get some of the more advanced stuff in situ inside of this this base and I want to build a few rooms dedicated for making some of these sort of more specialist items so I started building this uh, building up here now oh I didn't allow myself enough Whoop. now there is iron right here just sadly it's four impure nodes so we can't get tons out of it however I thought well I'll tell you what let's do something sort of a bit different so I've come up with this incredibly bizarre design which should be quite fun once it's uh, once it's done, but basically everything, all the all of these um, will fill up a 480 sushi belt of um, ore. When I say sushi belt, it doesn't really make sense because everything's the same thing on there. I, it's just an approach. It's just a different way to do it. And um, yeah, so they'll all fill up this belt. Uh, a couple of these will need to be overclocked, but we will get the 480 out of there. And then what that will do is it will send up this one 480 up. To the upper floor and the upper floor will have these refineries i hear you ask refineries well yes <laughs> yes yes and the reason for that is because we're going to use an alternate recipe and this was literally left uh you know asked in a comment um is there a any kind of alternate re recipes that i actually recommend and kind of as i said in the comment it's very difficult to say because in the majority of cases the standard recipes are kind of fine it's only if you're doing something very specific, like if you are building a factory somewhere where there's really loads of iron, but there's not much copper, and somewhere in your factory you need to make wire, then the alternate recipe for iron wire is perfect there. You use that there. It doesn't mean you no longer use the standard one. So somewhere else where you've got more copper, you would use the copper. So they're really good to have because there's certain cases where they come in. And it's the, the ones that are particularly good are the pure ones so for example so let's say i'm going to use the pure iron ingot um but there's also a uh, pure caterium uh, there's pure quartz there's pure uh, concrete and these are good because basically you build them in refineries but you use water you add water to it and it gets you a lot more ingots than you would normally in this little setup here i do need to get water here and it is a bit of a pain because the water that I will actually bring here is going to come from up here so I'm going to have to run some pipes down this way down this cliff and um, they'll they'll come down from up there and then into the system here the nice thing about it is I won't need any pumps because it'll all be gravity fed and I can probably do something quite nice with the pipes and it'll be part of the main design and it should look pretty cool but it'll also give me a steady water supply into the factory if I need it with that we can actually then start making our iron ingots right here. And we should actually get quite a few out of this little system. I haven't done the full maths. I can't do anything. Hang on, what am I trying to do? I'm just trying to do this. Pure iron ingots. So I'm going to grab that one. There we go. And then, like I say, you can set this here. So we're going to have 35 coming in. Now we've got one belt of uh, 480. So I'm going to make it so that, that distributes evenly across all of these and I'm going to use power shards uh, just to to make sure that it's all pretty much exact and then water because we've got 10 we're going to we're only going to need 200 water per minute so yeah so just do, uh, real quick maths um, the water extractor gives 120 you can fit 300 into a pipe so basically we need three water extractors or maybe um, two slightly overclocked water extractors depends how much room we've got there up in the little puddle that we're going to use um, and then we can bring one pipe of 300 down really quite easily but at the same time I'm thinking do you know what I might just go a bit nuts and go all out up there and try and get as much water down here as possible even if I then store it uh, make an area where it gets stored and then I can use it elsewhere it's another one that could be quite handy if I keep it high I don't want to build directly over there I don't want pipes I don't I don't want stuff messing around with my waterfall I do want it to come from over here so that's why I'm not using that water there but yeah yeah so uh, that's kind of the the next bit because of the fact that yeah I'm I struggle a bit to sort of concentrate on any one thing I kind of dart around a little bit but <laughs> anyway 
Um, yeah, yeah, so that's, what, that's where I'm working. Now, uh, I've got a really busy week ahead of me, so the next episode will probably be a little delayed, but I will get it up as soon as possible. This one's taken a little bit longer for sort of similar reasons. I took a little break, but, uh, but yeah, there's, there's loads to do. It's all going to slow down a little bit now, just because things take a lot longer to do, because everything's scaling up. Um, and this is just going to get going to get mad and yeah I don't have like every day to do this sadly but anyway I'm waffling now I shouldn't really be waffling anyway thank you once again for joining me please uh, chuck comments in ask me questions make suggestions highlight anything that you think I'm doing wrong uh, you know I'm, I'm very open to to not knowing everything about this I've you know put quite a few thousand hours into it but uh, there's uh, there's there's loads of gaps in my knowledge especially around version 1.0 I'm learning every day with it it's great um, but yeah, really, really enjoying it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you did, please remember, hit that like button. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe and the little bell will notify when you put, when I put up a new video. So again, thank you very much. And all that is left for me to say is bye for now. <laughs>